Welcome. All right, so this one gets a lot of students, and I actually don't really commonly use this one, uh, usually because a lot of times it's um, to students, sometimes it gets a little confusing you know, to go through why is this going to be exactly the case here. Um, and I think a lot of times it uh, um, sometimes can be even be expressed you know, by going back through our rules, our kind of our rules are of exponents. So if we just look at the natural logarithms, one thing that was said is you know, ln e, a base e of e, we know is equal to 1. And remember that ln always has your base e, so we usually commonly do not write it in there. But then if I have ln of e raised to an x, that will then therefore it's just going to equal whatever my e, what power it's raised to. But that is also true if I have e raised to the ln of, of e, or the ln base of e, that's also just going to equal, if I say that's x, that is also just going to equal x. As here, sometimes you say that you know the base ln base e of e. That just leaves you with the x. Well, in this case, we have the exact same thing where it's just going to represent our x. So here, if you're going to look at this, what we simply have is e, ln. Those are going to kind of undo our operations, and we're just going to be left with 300. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate without a calculator. Thanks.